make sure to turn off the main water supply. Remove your old shower by turning it anti-clockwise. Make sure to remove every part. Now, remove your old taps and make sure to remove any spindles, washers, extensions and adapters. Using a long nose plier, take out any remaining parts in the outlet. Make sure there's nothing in there by poking your finger inside. Something is still there if you feel any dents or change in the surface. If the distance between the surface of the wall and the internal pipe exceeds 20 millimeters, use a deeper extension. This is the crank connector. Pull out the washer inside and put it aside for the moment. Use the hex key to remove the inner cylinder by turning clockwise. This is the deeper extension. Using the hex key, extend the deeper extension until you see the third black line. Insert the washer from before into the deeper extension. Then put the deeper extension into the crank connector and screw clockwise. Attach the flange cover to both crank connectors. Apply plumbing tape onto the threads before installing. To install, screw the crank connectors into the hot and cold outlets. Ensure that the two arms are positioned appropriately to hold the mixer. It is okay to loosen the arms. This is the mixer. Insert the rubber washers into the mixer nuts. Screw the mixer nuts to the crank connectors on the wall. Then firmly tighten the nuts with a spanner. Using the hex key, tighten the inner cylinders by turning it clockwise. Turn until you reach the very end. Make sure it's firm, but don't over tighten it. This is the cover cap for the crank connector. Using a coin or a flathead screwdriver, fit the caps firmly over the holes. Turn on the main water supply and make sure no water comes out from the shower.